It has been one week since a Mississippi National Guard helicopter crashed in a wooded area in Prentice County, claiming the lives of both soldiers on board. While many agencies responded to the crash, the initial responsibility fell to the county's emergency management director. Allie Martin talked with the director who tells us about the response and lessons learned. Prentice County Emergency Management Director Bud Lindsay says he will always remember the events of February 23rd. Started receiving phone calls approximately 1.30 in the afternoon uh, that a helicopter was in trouble, uh, possibly going down. From that moment, area first responders sprang into action. The first order of business was trying to find a way to the crash site in a wooded area near Boonville. So what we done when we come home on the highway and we saw smoke in the woods, everybody jumped out of their vehicles and run through the woods. And uh, I'm, my scratches, bra scratches is healing up. Lindsay says area first responders have learned a lot from the incident. After working with the military on this, we now know uh, we've got to play a little bigger role than what we thought we did. We've got to exactly uh, extinguish the fire and uh, uh, do whatever else to a certain point and then the military will take over. Lindsay says there are simply too many agencies involved, including numerous volunteer fire departments to give credit to everyone. But he says everyone worked well together. Still, he says a debriefing will take place soon to look at the response and any improvements that can be made. We are going to sit down and talk about what we've done and what we're going to do from this point forward. Lindsay also emphasizes the importance of never forgetting the sacrifice made by Chief Warrant Officers Brian Andrew Zernick and Derek Joshua Abbott as reviews of the incident go forward. Telling your story in Prentice County, Allie Martin, WCBI News. Lindsay says this is the first crash of a military aircraft in the county.